Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-Templates.com for other great tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I'm going to show you some other techniques on how you can copy a chart and the data range associated with it um, to create a new chart and uh, not have it reference the old data set. So for instance, if you come in here and copy this chart, I'm going to just do Control C to copy it, go to a new range and do Control V. You will notice that the chart still references the old data set. So as I click around, it still is referencing the old one. But I want to change this and make this May and uh, uh, modify it that way. So if I come in and I do May 17, <clears throat> May 16, and May 15, um, notice that my chart has not changed. So uh, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do some new values in here and uh, have the chart uh, change accordingly. So I showed you a couple of other techniques to do that quickly. Works really well in large data sets, but on the smaller data set, doesn't uh, uh, may not be something that you want to spend the time to do. And so let me show you these other techniques. Um, first and foremost, you, you can click in the chart anywhere, go up and you'll notice that you see it's referencing those old ranges. You can just drag it and drop it onto the new range um, as you like and it will modify your chart accordingly. Notice May is now in the legend, so that is showing up correctly. So just click anywhere in the chart, select one of the data series, and then move both the data range to where you want it to go as well as the series name to where you want it to go. All right, let's go ahead and undo that. That's one technique that you can do. And uh, let's go ahead and show you the another technique. So if you click on the chart that we had previously, notice once again it is referencing the chart data range from up above and not our new May one. What you can do is just click anywhere in the chart, go up to your design ribbon, go into the select data group, and then on any one of these data series click on the edit button and you can then change the chart name, series name, um, to the different values that you like and in the correct ranges, click on OK, and you just have to do that for every single data series. Now, this may not be the fastest technique um, when you have lots and lot or you know several uh, different data ones, uh, but what it does do is it um, makes it so that you can uh, change, let's say, an XY chart. <clears throat> so um, there's some chart types within Excel that you'd have to do it this way. Um, uh, you can probably drag and drop it, but that may be a little bit harder since it's individual series. Um, so you may have to do the edit series button. All right, let's go ahead and uh, cancel that and let's change it, show you the, the very last technique. Now uh, on easy charts like say pie charts, column charts, bar charts, this technique works really well. After you've copied the chart, click on your new chart, go up to the design ribbon, clicked on the select data button in the data group. Then um, up here at the very top, it says chart data range. If there's any value in there, you can delete it. But once you've selected that cell, you can go out to your spreadsheet and just drag and drop over the new chart data range that you would like and click on OK. And you notice it has selected um, all of the components that you wanted for your new chart data range in one fell swoop now. Once again, this only works on certain chart types, so give it a shot. Probably won't work the way you expect it on um, different ones, uh, like say maybe a stacked column chart, but I know XY column or XY charts it has some problems with as well. So those are a few other easy techniques to copy a chart and data range and then modify it so that the new chart uses your new to data range. Thanks very much and don't forget to subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Also head on over to excel-dashboardtemplates.com to get a step-by-step -step tutorial of this post as well as hundreds of others. Thank you.